everybody welcome to my youtube channel dr srinivas medical concepts and my fb page dr srinivas concepts this is dr srinivas neurologist from rajmundry andhra pradesh india i am also the medical author of the book focused neurology my email is sriklpm@gmail.com today i am going to talk about a very very fascinating topic the optokinetic nystagmus the optokinetic nystagmus cranial nerves part 33 ocular motor nerves part 19 optokinetic nystagmus optokinetic nystagmus occurs whenever the eyes must follow a series of rapidly passing objects example train window or rotating drum bearing stripes suppose there is a rotating drum bearing stripes and it is moving like this when we keep following the object there is a pursuit following movement with rapid correction second there is a following movement pursuit movement followed by a second rapid correction so this is known as optokinetic nystagmus so optokinetic nystagmus can be viewed as testing pursuit ipsilateral to the direction of the target movement and contralateral saccades suppose uh, an object is moving in front of the eyes like this so we keep following the object so ipsilateral pursuit parietal lobe initiates pursuit movements connecting to the pprf so there is ipsilateral pursuit when it comes to the end of the view the front life fields area number 8 is stimulated that is immediately saccad so optokinetic nystagmus can be viewed as testing pursuit ipsilateral to the direction of the target movement and contralateral saccades so optokinetic nystagmus is a normal physiologic phenomenon sometimes affected by disease so it's a normal physiologic phenomenon optokinetic nystagmus is conjugate nystagmus in used by succession of moving visual stimuli so optokinetic nystagmus occurs whenever the eyes follows a series of rapidly passing objects example when we sit in the train near the window we follow a series of objects we keep following it then when it comes to the end of the view then we try to catch up the next object there's a contralateral saccad so train window or rotating drum bearing stripes so optokinetic nystagmus can be viewed as testing pursuit the ipsilateral to the direction of the target movement and contralateral saccades the ipsilateral parieto temporal occipital cortex mediates pursuit of the acquired stripes via deep parietal lobe so we have the horizontal eye movements it could be either pursuit movement that is a slow following movement or a rapid movement saccades the center for all horizontal eye movements is the pons that is a pprf the center for horizontal eye movements is pprf but the saccadic pathway originates from the front eye fields area number 8 and goes to the pprf the pursuit pathways originate from the ipsilateral parietotemporal occipital cortex so the ipsilateral parietotemporal occipital cortex mediates pursuits of the acquired stripes via the deep parietal lobe so whenever ready to break off it communicates with the ipsilateral frontal lobe which then generates a saccadic movement in the opposite direction to acquire the next target parietal lobe lesions tumors have absent or blunted optokinetic nystagmus whereas occipital lobe lesions vascular have normal optokinetic nystagmus so what is cogan's rule cogan's rule according to the cogan's rule with asymmetric optokinetic nystagmus the lesion is more likely to reside in the parietal lobe and more likely to be non vascular that is tumor so what is cogan's rule when there is an asymmetry of optokinetic nystagmus the lesion is more likely to reside in the parietal lobe and more likely to be non vascular that is tumor but what are the uses of optokinetic nystagmus one presence of optokinetic nystagmus rules of psychogenic visual loss very very important a person may come feigning visual loss 
he may not have organic visual loss he may be feigning to gain sympathy or for any other reason so how do we find out whether it is an organic visual loss or non organic visual loss so when a person complains of visual loss ask him to sit in a chair and put a rotating drum and ask him to follow the objects he may say that he is not able to see but still you insist that he keeps seeing the moving rotating stripes in front of him so though he pretends to be blind he is actually seeing the moving stripes and therefore the optokinetic nystagmus will come into effect so we'll have nice pursuit followed by saccades nice pursuit followed by saccades so presence of optokinetic nystagmus rules out blindness so the moment is able to see the optokinetic nystagmus becomes manifest so if the optokinetic nystagmus is present that means the person is not blind so presence of optokinetic nystagmus rules out blindness so that is very important test to rule out whether the person is having organic lesion or non organic lesion so presence of optokinetic nystagmus rules out psychogenic visual loss it indicates that person has got is able to see the object well again what is the other use of optokinetic nystagmus it may be used to check visual acuity in infants more than 4 to 6 months of age in infants who are more than 4 to 6 months of age we cannot test visual acuity directly because they may not be able to cooperate so we can test it the with the optokinetic nystagmus so it may be used to check visual acuity in infants more than 4 to 6 months of age so these are all the wonderful concepts of optokinetic nystagmus um, wherein we use the pursuit movement saccadic movements it is used to rule out hysterical blindness and it can be used for infants 4 to 6 months of age to test visual acuity so i hope you have enjoyed listening to this wonderful concepts of uh, optokinetic nystagmus the other wonderful concepts i have put it in a question and answer format in a book focused neurology written by me dr s srinivas it is available online all over the world uh, including from all leading booksellers including amazon so if interested it could be bought online i hope you have enjoyed listening to my lecture optokinetic nystagmus if you have really enjoyed it please like it share it with your friends and please subscribe to my youtube channel dr srinivas medical concepts and my bp page dr srinivas concepts thank you bye सर रिप्ले हो जाए असला आई मेरे जरूरत नहीं सर